As many of you know, the Army in Europe has been in a state of transformation since the end of the Cold War, and certainly since 2004 when we began a major restructuring of overseas forces. Today, in coordination with Ms. Marin, the Installation Management Command Europe Regional Director, we must announce two separate actions that will reduce the number of both military and civilian authorizations we have as part of USER. This restructuring is scheduled to be completed by September 30, 2012, in compliance with employee notice periods and entitlements. We are taking action to meet funded targets established by the Secretary of Defense and reflected in the President's budget. As part of these overall reductions, U.S. Army garrisons in Germany, Belgium, and the Netherlands will be restructured or in some cases inactivated to realign, improve effectiveness and efficiency, and right-size essential services. We have to do this. We have to continue to take care of our changing community populations and our employees while we do all this. Additionally, the Secretary of the Army has given guidance to eliminate functions or positions throughout reorganization. Under this action, parts of the Headquarters USER staff at the 21st Theater Sustainment Command and at the Joint Multinational Training Command will be reorganized, and additional reductions in other commands may also be forthcoming based on our analysis. But throughout all this, we have to continue to train, to deploy, and to support multiple combatant commanders, build partner capacity with our allies, and take care of our people who live here. As you can understand, getting this right while contributing to our Army and our nation will be challenging. We understand how hard this is, professionally and personally, on many of you. Before the final reductions occur, all leaders must ensure they have a well thought out strategy for mitigating the effects. We will rely on several methods to include voluntary departures or not filling currently unfilled billets. Our local civilian personnel specialists will work with each employee to ensure they understand their situation, their rights, and how we will try to help. I know that you, our employees, our key to mission success and we will do everything possible to take care of you as we address this challenge. Thanks to all of you for what you do every day and thanks for understanding the situation we're in. Strong soldiers, strong teams.